Hey everyone, how's it going? Oliwood363 here, back with another video. Um, this is more of a uh, PC show and tell video. Um, as is obvious from my uh, username and from my other videos, I'm a big uh, John Oliwood fan and collector. Uh, there's my uh, homepage, homepage and my website there. Um, been collecting Oliwood since about 1990, and uh, along the way, I've met a lot of other met and got in contact with a lot of other Olerud fans and collectors. Uh, one great collector I've been in touch with for a few years now online. Never met him in person, but I've been in touch with emails and things online. Um, I, also on YouTube here um, goes under the username uh, WeiselJ. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel down below. Um, you probably have seen, or if you haven't seen, you should check out his videos on his uh, he started posting some videos on his Olerud collection. He's got an awesome, awesome game used bat uh, collection, um, autograph ball collection, and uh, I'm looking forward to whatever other videos he can post to uh, to highlight parts of his collection. Because I'm always looking to see uh, what Olerud collector, what other Olerud collectors have in their collections, and also wanted to share a bit of what I have. So you know, in the last couple of days, me and him have been in touch with emails and stuff, and thought we need to uh, kind of showcase some of our collection so we can each see what the other has and just share with the YouTube community and maybe some other Olerud collectors uh, what kind of stuff is out there and what kind of stuff we've collected. So today I thought I would start with um, some publications, things like uh, magazine covers and stuff like that. I'm going to turn off the monitor. First magazine cover, Sports Illustrated. This was given to me, sent to me from a uh, Great uh, member at the, over at freedomcardboard.com, Sports Illustrated. It's kind of an old beat up Sports Illustrated from August 15th, 1988. When I first saw this, I thought, okay, what the heck is this? But uh, when I uh, opened the package, there's a little post it note on the front that just said Faces in the Crowd. So, of course, I go towards the back and look for Faces in the Crowd. And who's there? Johnny O himself, fresh-faced uh, college student, probably his first appearance in a major publication. So that was cool to get. He's not on the cover of the magazine, but it's cool to get this early, early uh, picture and little bio of him. So that was neat to have. A couple of other publications. Uh, Baseball America from June 25th, 1988. Two-way threat, Washington State. Pitcher first baseman, John Olerud. Nice picture, picture of him pitching for the Cougars. Next, another Baseball America from 1991. February 1991. Um, well, it's kind of folded in half here. Featuring John Olerud on the cover. There's his head and his bat. And there's the rest of his body. This was just after, of course, Joe Carter and Roberto Alomar were acquired in a trade, so. Getting into the uh, Blue Jays programs, the scorebooks. This one is from September 1991. Nice photo there. This is not one of my favorite cover photos, but uh, this one's from uh, 1994. It just says issue 2, 1994, volume 18. Getting into Mets program. This one is um, volume 37, number one from 1998. It's a nice picture and facsimile autograph. It's not an actual autograph. Um, some other magazines. This one is a uh, Canadian sports card collector. Like a lot, a lot of you guys in the States wouldn't know this magazine. This is, was kind of the uh, Canadian version of Tough Stuff. If anybody remembers Tough Stuff magazine, that uh, Canadian sports card collector had uh, baseball, hockey, football, basketball in it. Um, this particular issue is from September 1993, featuring John Olerud. It's too bad it's got the mailing label on it, but uh, nice picture of his 1993 Leaf card as well. And of course, Baseball 94 Sport, this 94 baseball season preview issue. Will Canada keep the title? It ended up nobody won the title in 94 because of the strike, but uh, some of you may recognize that photo. 
that's on this magazine. It's the same photo that's on Beckett, August 1993, Johnny O's Dream Season. August 90, when this when this magazine came out, when this Beckett issue came out, uh, he was still batting 400. He was batting 400, I believe, to sometime in July, I think. So this is a this the anytime you look up Olerud on on eBay, there's always at least one or two copies of, of this for sale. The neat ones are the ones that are uh, have three autographs on it, but uh, I've got a couple of copies of this. And of course the famous Sports Illustrated best infield ever. Uh, kind of neat because uh, you got John Olerud's known as a kind of a quiet, introverted uh, type of guy. And there he is with Robin Ventura and a headlock kind of similar to uh, similar to what Nolan Ryan did to Ventura. That famous Texas hardball incident. This one is from September 1999. couple of other little publications I got here. This one you'll see in uh, Weisel J's um, Weisel J's videos. Uh, Sports Shots Collector Book number 23, published by Scholastic. It's, uh, I don't know if you guys would have Scholastic in the States, but it's here in Canada that publishes, uh, sells books through the school systems. So there's no price on this or anything. It's not something you would buy in a bookstore. It would be specially ordered from uh, like school catalogs and things. So it's kind of neat. I believe this is from 1991, 92, somewhere around there. Another publication, 1994 Baseball America, 1994 Almanac, with Olerud on the cover. Apart from having this for the Olerud collection, it's kind of neat to flip through you know, the stats and the predictions and who is hot and who are the big rookies coming up and things like that, so pretty cool. <laughs> There's the eBay packing slip from when I bought it. It's cool. uh, other publications. Another newspaper. Baseball Weekly. This one's from June 29th, 1993. Still, I believe he was still batting 400 at that time. Nice follow-through photo on the cover. And uh, a couple of other neat publications. Keep these in the binder with my uh, 8x10s, but uh, this is just a page, actually, that uh, back in high school, in around 1990 or 91, this actually is a page from a magazine. It was like a uh, youth magazine that was put out quarterly by one of the local banks or something like that. But I had torn this out. You can see from the, the damage on it and the old tape. I had had it taped on my wall in my bedroom in high school. So I kept it and it's in rough shape, but it's one of the first uh, pieces of Olerud memorabilia that I have. This article, actually, on the lookout for a fastball. If you Google that title, um, you'll find the article online. I've seen it several times. And neat ad on the back for Fuji cassette tapes. Some of you younger YouTubers might not even know what cassette tapes are. Uh, another neat publication. This is um, Baseball Champions number 11. Sports Heroes Facts and Feats. So it's kind of a two page, it folds open. I'll just show you the back too. It's, it's just a little thing uh, issued in 1991. Just got little, uh, you know, little facts and figures, quotes, little bio information, pictures, things like that. Kind of a neat item. This is something that you'll see often showing up on eBay as well. And similar to that stroke of greatness, this is a single page champions and record holders from 1992. Kind of prophetic quote there. Picture perfect swing, and one of the reasons he's among baseball's best hitters. The next year, he'd go on to bat 363 and win the batting title. 
Oh. I was just looking at the copyright here. It says copyright 1992, but that's the photo copyright. This is actually from 1990. This publication is from 1996. Because I'm noticing the stats on the back. And they go up to 95. And the copyright for the act this actual publication is 96. So the photo is from 1992, but this publication is from 1996. And a neat uh, college item from 1990 um, National Baseball Congress World Series program. Um, I don't know too much about the National Baseball Congress, but they seem to highlight, uh, looking through this, they highlight uh, college players. And every year they'll have a player of the year. So, um, 1990, they commemorated John Olerud. This one, um, I've got it in this binder sheet, but you can kind of see it's, it's, it's kind of scuffed up and the spine is broken. And it's not in the best shape, but uh, I haven't seen one of these before. Before or since I bought this on eBay, so that's why I had to pick it up. Nice little publication there. And uh, one of the last things I got have to show you, this, not really a publication, but it was in the binder with the rest of the stuff. This uh, is a letter I got back with one of my TTM returns. So there's the envelope. Uh, there's the handwritten um, return address. And there's a letter from the Jordan Fund. It's a, it's a charity set up by John Ollard and his wife. Um, to raise money for families of children with disabilities. Uh, you know, sign, thank you, John, soliciting donations for their charity. But um, kind of, kind of, it would have been neat if it was actually signed by him. It's, you know, it's just a form letter, but it was stuffed in the envelope with my return cards for the, S, for the uh, TTM autograph. So it's kind of a neat item that I kept along with the envelope. And the last thing I want to show you probably one of the more unique items in my collection. This is from, I believe, spring of 1994. It's a placard that goes on the front of a newspaper box for the Toronto Star. So it's just cardboard blank on the back and it would fit in like a clear display thing on the front of the newspaper box. So there's probably millions of these made but not many of them survived the weather and elements and things like that so kind of neat picturing him cover the sports section I believe this was 1994 in the spring it's a pretty neat item so those are my publications newspapers magazine covers things like that let me know what you think and don't forget to check out Weisel J I'll put, again I'll put his uh, his uh, YouTube channel link down below. You can check out his awesome videos. Love his uh, autographed ball collection. Alright, bye for now.